Hello everyone, very welcome to the channel. I'm very excited to share with you this story maker, which is a novel project to generate consistent characters in text to image generation. Imagine generating a series of images to tell a story. Current methods can create consistent faces, but characters' clothes, hairstyle and bodies change unpredictably. This makes story look quite disjointed. That is where this story maker helps. It's a new approach that ensures consistency in faces, clothing, hairstyle and bodies. Look at the example on your screen from their GitHub repo page, which I will drop the link in video's description. On the very left uh, for the Jeffrey Hinton, it's a reference image. Then it has been changed as per characters like eating breakfast, image changes in a subway, working at desk, walking a dog, holding book at night. So it's a whole jointed story, which is just moving through consistent characters. Now the story maker, it does this by combining face identity with character appearance, clothing, hairstyle and body. It separates out characters from the background and each other, and it allows poses to change without affecting character consistency. And it also enhances image quality, as you can see in the rest of the examples on this github repo page now we will be installing it locally and then we will see how it works before that let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu in affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description i will also give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus Coming back to this story maker, they also have this model available from Hugging Face, which we will be installing along with a face encoder. And I will show you all the steps uh, and I will explain what is happening at each step. So great thing about story maker is that it uh, enables you to have a cohesive storytelling through images. And that is what we are going to see shortly. Let me take you to my terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. And this is my GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM courtesy past compute. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a virtual environment with Conda. I'm just calling it ST with Python 3.10. It shouldn't take too long. So let's wait for it to get activated. That is already done. Let me install some of the prerequisites, which include Torch, Torch Vision, Transformers, Inside Face, OpenCV, which is for computer vision. This is going to take a couple of minutes, so let's wait for it. All the prerequisites are done. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's git clone the repo of StoryMaker and I will drop the link to it in video description. And that is done. Now we need to log into Hugging Face because we need to download this model from there. So you would need to sign up to Hugging Face and then from your profile in settings, you would need to grab your token which is free token uh, and just grab the read token and then run this command hugging face cli login and paste your token here so let me quickly do my token just press capital y and you will see that now the login is successful here and in the next step we need to download the model so first let me clear the screen and show you the structure here so you see uh, there are assets there are all that stuff so you can simply run this command here where i'm running hugging face cli download and then resume download this is the github repo page of that model so you can grab it by just simply pressing here it's the same one it is going to download the model locally in the checkpoints folder so let me run it so as soon as you would run it, it is going to download the model and all the related file. Let's wait for it to finish. This is going to take a bit of a time. So all the download is done now. Let me clear the screen. If you do ls-ltr, you should see that there is a checkpoints folder or directory. Go into that. If you do again ls-ltr, you would see that we have that mask.bin so it should be there in the checkpoint folder and uh, also you should see that there is a pipeline 
strxlstorymaker.py you would need to move this out of it um, so maybe i'll just say cp pipeline and then i'm just going to put it in my you can even just go one directory back like this and then paste it here and then so that is done um, so we already have mass.bin story maker also just keep the maybe you can also move the readme file out of it that doesn't matter but it's always a good practice just to keep whatever is read needed here that is done also you need to create a directory called as models here okay so that is done let's clear the screen let's make sure that we let's go back one directory let's sorry let's check let's check it out so you see that now we have that pipeline and also the readme file here okay now next step is to download the face encoder model and the, uh, the buffalo model for the buffalo model you would need to go to this link and i will drop the link in video's description from there just right click on it or you can simply click on it you will see that there is a zip file it is asking you to download this zip file click on download download anyway and then you see that it has started downloading so let's wait for it to get downloaded it is i think downloading it in my downloads directory and we would have to move it to the new models directory which we have just created so let's wait for it so it has finished downloading it let me go to my downloads directory and you will see that it has downloaded this buffalo underscore l dot zip just cut it from here go to your um, story maker directory from here go to checkpoints go to models this is we have created above and click on paste here once that's done you can simply extract this directory here and sometimes this take bit of a time so let's wait for it okay so you see that it has now all the models which is quite good you can either delete it or just leave it here doesn't matter really so make sure that your directory structure looks like this everything in place okay now go back to your terminal and i'm just going to install the jupyter notebook here you can either go with python interpreter or you can go with jupyter notebook so let's first try it out with jupyter notebook because that just gives us a browser environment so our jupyter notebook is launched let me now paste the code from their report to do the inference on it so you see here we are simply importing the libraries and then we are setting up our buffalo model which we have downloaded we are setting up our face adapter and this is the model from hugging face which it is going to uh, pipe it through this pipeline it is putting it on CUDA and then it is uh, loading the story maker adapter so let me run it models are prepared now and now let's try to write the story with the story maker by using an image and text prompts so for image i'm just going to use one of their provided image you can use your own of course and with that the prompt is a person is taking a selfie the person is wearing a red hat and a volcano in the distance and these are some negative prompts and this is where we are loading the images then piping it through the pipeline and then saving the new image here so let me run it and the first time you will run it it will download all of the models which are required so just wait for a bit to get downloaded it is working on it and it has finished generating the image also uh, so let's go and check in the results directory so i believe this is the one so let me open it there you go there is a volcano behind it let me go through yep volcano interesting there's a mount fuji very interesting there are a lot of them so yeah this one is not good enough but still it has changed it there you go it's pretty good cool okay this is interesting also um, you might get this warning but don't worry about it uh, i have uh, 
you know as you can see i have generated it even with this name error so let's not worry about it for now in another example let's try out this image i already have given it the path so let me run it it is going to prepare it in all these steps so let's wait for it to get finished the speed is quite good too as you can imagine let's see what it creates in the results directory shouldn't take too long now i think that's the last step i believe yep it's done let's go to the results directory these are the results and there you go so let me see yeah it's again the lava stuff okay that is interesting there you go very good stuff so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this story maker i'm quite impressed by it i think uh, it's quite interesting also let me quickly uh, show you its gpu card usage because i'm sure you are going to ask it's not accurate but will give you a rough idea so you can see that it is just occupying more than 21 gpu of vram so i would say maybe 24 gpu of uh, gpu card or above should be fine for it so that's it let me know what do you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching